there's a giant lobster right next to me. Only on International Drive. What's up YouTube? I hope all you guys are having an awesome, fantastic day. Today we're back to doing what is, and a lot of you guys have been wondering, what is International Drive or what is iDrive? iDrive is kind of like the Las Vegas Strip here in Orlando. It's restaurants, nightlife, uh, museums, just different things to do, uh, hotels. I just don't think there's a casino. But other than that, it's basically like a Las Vegas Strip. There is a lot to do here. So if you guys are looking for something to do outside of the theme parks, outside of Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, come down here at International Drive. I promise you and your family can probably make a one day trip out of this whole International Drive. So I'm starting here at Ripley's, believe it or not, because I've worked with Ripley's in the past. I'll be sure to leave my Ripley's live stream down in the description. Uh, but this is where we're gonna get started. So we're here at Ripley's. If you guys don't know, don't know what Ripley's is, it's like a believe it or not museum. Really awesome place. I really highly recommend you guys go check out Ripley's, believe it or not. And then right next door is the Orlando iDrive 360. The Orlando i, the Star Flyer. I think I may try to ride the Star Flyer today. Maybe. I've been a chicken, but I think today may be the day since we're getting pretty close to 18K. But uh, hopefully you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Oh boy. It's a lot bigger in person than I've seen in the videos. Holy cow. And this is the brand new Orlando Star Flyer here. Just opened last summer. Oh goodness. <laughs> that is so high. And the Star Flyer is only $12.21 for one ride. And they do have lockers that you guys can rent because you have to have empty pockets when you get onto the attraction. My ticket has been bought. I got the wristband. Oh boy. I cannot believe it's time. I just ask, I am allowed to bring the camera on with me. You guys can bring cameras on as long as you got the wrist strap. GoPros are allowed, but regular phones, you cannot bring them onto the ride. It has to be attached to your body. I'm all buckled in. <laughs> the butterflies are real right now, but I'm super excited. This is something I've always wanted to do. All right, chain, my life is in your hands. Don't let me down. I cannot believe these chains are the only things that's keeping me alive. Oh my God. <laughs> this is scary! Wow, it just takes you up so fast! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is scary, but it's so fun! Oh, it's spinning me! It's spinning me! Woo! Oh, wow. You guys can see everything. This Volcano Bay is right there, Universal. You guys can see a little bit of Disney over there. It's going too fast. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's pretty fun now. It's fun now that the, the scariness is over with. <laughs> when it spins, it's scary. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> My life is awesome sometimes, and this is uh, one of those times. It's awesome. And we're coming back down. Wow. And they're playing music the whole time. Even when you're up there, you can hear the music. Yep, this is one of the top three things I've ever done while living in Orlando. Pretty dang awesome. Like I said up there, that was amazing. So much fun. I definitely want to come back at nighttime and ride it. I can come back later tonight if I decide to. It probably won't happen, but it's only going to be $8 if you do it again on the same day, which is awesome. But now <laughs> that the nerves have settled, let's continue on down International Drive. I also want to say a huge thank you to Pete McDevitt for sending me a gift card I'm able to use today. So thank you, Pete. When you do come to International Drive, there's going to be a few places in parking garage that you guys can park for free such as if you guys do the sky flyer in the Orlando 360 parking is free if you go there Ripley's is free if you go there some parking garages you have to pay like five ten dollars on the weekends I believe it goes up to like 15 20 but overall not bad especially if you guys are coming down here and doing something that offers free parking you guys can just park there all day and uh, no feet of park which is Pretty nice, that's what I did today. And we are now on iDrive 360 with the Orlando Eye. I've done this before, I'll put a link to it right up here. 
it's just a nice time you got the sea life aquarium you have the wax museum over here also a whole bunch of restaurants and nightlife and bars all these places are good let's go inside to have a closer look we are now inside icon park and this is where you're gonna get your tickets to go ride the orlando eye madame tucson's wax museum is over here they have a 70 dark ride adventure ride right here and then here's gonna be the sea life aquarium and they also have a skeleton museum over here right next door to the walgreens and if you guys want to come here to the marine life it is going to be 28 dollars each if you guys want to do the 7d dark ride it's going to be eight dollars 12 and under it looks like adults twelve dollars two rides sixteen dollars and three rides twenty one dollars interesting i've never done this they also do a currency exchange if you guys are coming international so to ride the orlando eye you're looking at 29.99 for an adult and 24.99 for a child but i would recommend you guys bundle so if you guys want to do the orlando eye in the skeleton museum it's only going to be 36 and 31 for a child or you can do madame tucson's in the orlando eye or you can do madame tucson's in the marine life and they also offer an annual pass, which is only about a hundred bucks. I'm looking at doing one of those. They also have a fuel rod station here. But just looking to come into the wax museum, you're looking at $23 per adult. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Here's the sugar factory. I'm sure many of you guys know what this is from the Kardashians. Kind of made this famous, but I've eaten here. And let me tell you, it was a fun time. And here's a hot tip. If you guys buy your Legoland Florida tickets here, they actually have a bus that will drive you out to Legoland, which is about 45-ish minutes away from here. Stay tuned, because we're going to Legoland later this week. All right, so I had to move the car further down International Drive, so I parked at this garage. It's $4 for two hours, which isn't bad at all. But now I'm gonna show you guys the uh, beginning of International Drive. Disney Cruise Line? I'm trying to get away from Disney today. What are you guys doing here? This is a place I call Wonderworks. It's kind of like a Ripley's, believe it or not. I haven't been in here yet. I'm gonna try to work with these guys coming up. But from what I've heard and seen, it's like a fun museum to go explore in. And here's I Fly, which is an indoor skydiving. I haven't done this version, but I've done it back home in Oklahoma and it is a fun time. And if you guys like the nightlife, you guys are gonna love Ice Bar Orlando. Basically what this is, it's a bar, but it's just not a bar, it's an ice. Like you have to put on a coat, gloves, and go into the ice bar. The, the drinks are really cold, but they're so good. They're pretty much open every night. And then they do have a Groupon. I think it's like 50 bucks for like drinks and appetizers for the night, which is not bad at all. But I highly recommend Ice Bar Orlando. That's another thing. Mostly everything here on International Drive has some sort of Groupon. Uh, the hot air balloon at Disney Springs, the characters in flight, I told you guys had a Groupon. Mostly everything has a Groupon down here. It's windy. Oh, Maggiano's, Little Italy. If you guys like Italian food, I don't think it gets better than this here on International Drive. Ate here many times. Very, very delicious. And right on the back side of Maggiano's is gonna be like a shopping center. They have a movie theater up here with 4DX seats. A lot of shopping, dining, a lot of nightlife. Uh, food trucks is here. And if you guys come down here in the daytime, like I am currently, a lot of the restaurants and the bars are gonna have a happy hour special with drinks for like $3 and $5, which is pretty cheap for a drink here in Orlando. And some more nightlife for you guys, this place called Blue Martini. I come here a lot. They have a live band playing, really great drinks, and it's just a really nice, enjoyable time for you adults looking for a good time in the nighttime. They also have a Dave & Buster's down here, a Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, Miller's L House, Made Event, Chili's, Olive Garden, just pretty much all your typical restaurants are gonna be on the streets here on International Drive. But I think I showed you guys pretty much all of International Drive and some of my favorite things to do down here on International Drive. Uh, it's hot and I'm a little thirsty and tired, so I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get home. So I'll see you guys in like a few seconds. All right, I just made it home from International Drive and that was a fun time. I still can't believe I actually rolled the Star Flyer. Holy cow, you guys need to do that. And only for 12 bucks? That was maybe like a three minute ride. It was scary, but it ended up being really, really fun. Uh, so I'll probably end up doing that again. But all in all, uh, hopefully I showed you guys pretty much everything you guys had questions about with International Drive. You can really spend a whole day 
down there and you could probably do five to six things that I showed you guys for the price of one Disney ticket. I definitely think I'm going to bring my family here next month when they're here just for a day in International Drive because you know it's something different. You're not in big crowds and waiting in lines and it's kind of more relaxing and re enjoyable uh, but hopefully I help you guys out with any kind of questions or concern you guys have. If you guys have any type of questions please leave me a comment down in the comments and let me know. I'll try to answer them as much as I can and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up let me know you guys enjoyed the video and you guys care subscribe if you guys are new here we do this quite often comment start a conversation don't be shy and i love you guys so much and it's nice to be nice in youtube i'll see you guys in the next video prince charming out you are ruthless yeah you don't give a damn about what i do you think you're the coolest who would ever wanna be like